Due to the impact of the coronavirus most of the automakers are turning themselves towards the digital platforms for the protection of customers and employees. Ford has initiated Dial a Ford for sales and service which includes doorstep pickup and drop service, also includes online consultation and digital transactions. Volvo Cars India has commenced the Volvo Contactless program for its customers which also provides online service appointment, digitized documentation, financing, and contactless delivery. FCA India, the maker of Jeep Compass also launches online digital platform. Maruti Suzuki announced the opening of the showrooms across India by following standard operating procedure, SOP, ensures high level of hygiene for its employees and customer protection. Complete safety, hygiene, and sanitization of all touch points are the theme of this facility. In the midst of this COVID-19 crisis Ashok Leland is working with both central government and state government of Tamil Nadu in making a ventilator. A team of 50 Ashok Leland engineers have now accomplished a low-cost ventilator, but with all the necessary features to aid first-mile ventilation including the required sensors and controllers for volume and pressure monitoring, and safeguards. Ola has announced the recommence of its services in over 100 cities across India in the orange and green zones with new safety protocols for drivers and passengers from May 4. Uber has also confirmed the resumption of its services in select areas as per the government instructions. Including driver maximum three passengers will be allowed and the timings will be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Indian FTR Carbon and FTR Rally will be launched soon, as we see they are listed in the Brands India website. The FTR Carbon bike is powered by a 1,203 cubic centimeters twin engine that generates 120 nanometers of torque. The FTR 1,200 Rally motorcycle is an off-road bike which is mated with the almost same internals. Piaggio has launched the BS6 version of Vespa VXL and SXL 149 scooters in India and it will replace its 150 cubic centimeters version. These two scooters are powered by a 149 cubic centimeters FI that generates 10.32 bhp at 7600 rpm and 10.6 nanometers at 5500 rpm. Aprilia R660 has been listed on the official international website will launch soon. The concept of this new gen bike was displayed at ITMA 2019, now it is production ready. At Auto Expo 2020 Piaggio introduced a maxi style scooter, Aprilia SXR160 planned to launch it in mid-2020. Due to COVID-19 crisis Piaggio forced to delay the launch plan. However it might hit the roads on September and it will rival Suzuki Bergman and Honda Forza. Datsun lists Go and Go Plus on its official website and both will be powered by a 1.2-liter BS6 engine which generates 67 bhp and 104 nm mated 5-speed transmission. It will come in five variants and with cosmetic changes in the front grille. Honda displayed prototype of CB4X at ITMA 2019, now the manufacturer has filed a patent European Union Intellectual Property Office. This adventure motorcycle might obtain 650 cubic centimeters engine from the CBR650R. According to online rumor Royal Enfield India is working on 650 cubic centimeters scrambler, 
this might be based on Interceptor 650 and Continental GT 650. Honda is developing a bunch new SUVs which will be launched in the coming days. According to a source Honda has registered CRV name, which might its new upcoming SUV in addition to its new 2020 HRV. MG Motors had already donated ambulances to fight COVID-19. Now they have has tied 3M and Woolworth for the sanitization of 4,000 police vehicles which involves car wash, interior cleaning with sanitization and disinfecting with fumigation process. The retro-styled Supervelos 800 Seria Oro was unveiled at ECMA 2018 but due to several reasons including COVID-19 outbreak it was delayed. It is now entering production as they resume operations. Soon we will see it on the roads. Hyundai Motor India has tied up with Mobis India for the delivery of 6.8 lock N90 and N95 masks and 1.5 lock 100 ml containers of sanitizers for the dealers across the country. This will used for safety protocols of the customers and employees during this COVID-19 pandemic. Mediatek unveiled 12 nanometers chipset Helio G85 which comes with a 1 GHz GPU and also has 2 Cortex-A75 cores and 6 Cortex-A55 cores, which supports up to 8 GB of RAM. This chipset has Hyper Engine technology to facilitate powerful gaming on smartphones. According to some reports Poco's upcoming phone might Poco M2 Pro. The rumors of this name surfaced on Xiaomi India's RF Exposure page. This shows that Poco might introduce several handsets for different ranges as they very active in Twitter for the upcoming mystery phone launch. Poco has revealed a launch date for the Spanish markets, which might be Poco F2 Pro. The confirmed launch date is May 12th and rumors strongly suggests that it will be rebranded version of Redmi K30 Pro. According to Leak Qualcomm is working on a new flagship 5 nanometers chipset might be Snapdragon 875. It will be powered with X60 modem, Adreno 660 and many more upgraded specifications. According to a latest official tweet from the Twitter, the social website will give us the option to rethink our tweet replies if it is used with bad language that could be harmful. Honor will launch X10 on May 20. Honor X10 might be the successor of Honor 9X. The major upgrade is 5G and it is confirmed through a Weibo post by the company. Honor X10 will get a 6.63-inch LCD screen of Full HD+, and it will be powered by the Kirin 820 SoC with 5G support and side-mounted fingerprint sensor. <laughs> Huawei Eye has revealed a Bluetooth TWS named FreeBuds 3i for European markets with built-in active noise cancellation at an incredible price. Designs have been cloned from AirPods and it will be available from May 20 for £89.99. Redmi's most famous Note series got a reason to celebrate as it sells 30 million phones of Note 8 series and it has made it up to top 10 smartphones sold in Q4 2019. Finally Realme Narzo 10 series is arriving on May 11. Due to the coronavirus crisis Realme has postponed the launch several times, and now it is confirmed in the company's Twitter official handle. <laughs>